Now, many have asked questions about reincarnation and why is it? Oh, I must tell you, reincarnation began in 1962. That was the first time that anyone on this earth reincarnated. There are other earths, by the way, and people have reincarnated onto those ones, but on this earth, the first time that anyone reincarnated was 1962. Now, when I say lots of other Earths, there are other locations in this physical universe where people go through the same process you're going through, the, re the incarnation of the soul. So they're just like us? Yes. They don't have green heads in them. <laughs> <laughs> Why 62? What's there? Why did they? There's no significance in it, but that's just when the first person did it. No. Your date of conception. Yeah. So, um, was there any significance to why you Yes, lots of significance. Yes, there, there are. The initial group of people who reincarnated were fourteen. There were fourteen who originally reincarnated. You were one. I'm one of them. My soulmate is another one. So each there were seven soul pairs. Fourteen people. So. Do you want me to name them? Okay. There's myself and Mary Magdalene. We are one soul together. Then there's um, the Apostle John and his soulmate. His soulmate's male, by the way. The Apostle John. In the first century, you may have heard some of these people. You just contradicted yourself because mm -hmm. you just said before about your soulmate, right? She's not really here. She's still got some emotions that she has to sort through. Yeah. And remember yeah, I said right. without... She wouldn't have been reincarnated as to what you just told us. Ah, but you'd have to understand the process of reincarnation to know what went on. And, and I haven't explained that yet. And I've written it all in there. So, And I won't have time to explain it now, but I've written it all in there. The truth is that what happens is, at every reincarnation you absorb the emotions of your parents. And at every reincarnation, you have to then work through those emotions. You need to choose to do that. If you refuse to do that, then you won't ever remember. So what I'm saying to you is every one of you will know whether you've been reincarnated or not if you work through your emotions. How do I work through my emotions? <laughs> And they are your father's emotions impressed upon you. So they've become yours, but yes, your father first had them. Now there's some deep water. <laughs> Very deep water, as you know. And you can feel even that emotion towards your father now, right? Yes. Yeah. And you know there's a fair bit to work through there. And Natalie behind you was adopted and she's had to work through the issues of two fathers that she didn't have. <laughs> There's lots of different issues that come up through different emotional states, right? Yeah. Just because you've been adopted doesn't mean you don't have an issue with the masculine. No, I'm not talking about you either. I'm just saying just because a person's adopted and they might have been adopted by a woman and there was no male in the house, it doesn't mean that she won't have issues with the masculine. She will have whatever emotional issues her mother has with the masculine. So, as the most powerful healing emotionally that we can do of our wounds comes through the healing of our relationship with mother, partner. Certainly. Because you think about it, most of our injuries, there's a whole group of injuries that come from environment, right? But the majority of our very, very deep seated injuries come from mum and dad, our relationship with our parents or our siblings, generally. So, sorry, you're working for the seventh day of the song. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, the name of the song. Sorry about that. Someone asked, uh, where was up to? John, the Apostle John. Apostle John and his soulmate, Nathaniel. Um, John the Baptist, uh, sorry, and his soulmate. Who, who, you've heard of John the Baptist? Yes. From the Bible? Yeah, he's, a, he's another. He, oh, by the way, the Apostle John and his soulmate incarnated into Australia. 
John the Baptist in his time are incarnated into South Africa. Right? There's Luke and his time, Sarah, who is my daughter from the first century. Right? They incarnated into Canada. There's a, a, a lady called Elisa and her soulmate, who is female, and they both incarnated into Vietnam. There's uh, a soul couple, John Mark, and his soulmate, Tabitha, and they incarnated into South America. There's uh, I missed? Cornelius, of course, and his soulmate, and they incarnated into Australia. Now that's seven, I think. What was the purpose? And the purpose is to firstly reteach these truths to man. Second purpose is to, there are lots of smaller purposes obviously in that, some of which are to help man through the coming transitions and so forth. Right? But the biggest purpose is to help you connect with God. To help you have the relationship that we have with God, to help you have exactly the same relationship with God. Now, the reason why we chose to reincarnate rather than materialise, because we could have materialised, is because we wanted to experience life in the 20th century, getting to the point of one with God with a lot of errors from the 20th century, so that we could actually connect with you and help you do the same. Does that make sense? By demonstration. By demonstration of our own lives. So today, all of you reincarnate with a longing as a um, we reincarnated into certain locations for lots of different reasons. There were, there were reasons of self-protection of the soul. In other words, what's the point of reincarnating if, if a few months later we died and passed again? There's not much point in that process. So we wanted to make sure that we lived to an age where... And, and only one of the 14 have passed at this point. So the um, majority of us have survived. 